In the Maldives, a political storm is brewing as President Mohamed Moizu is facing a potential impeachment. The archipelago nation's parliament has become a battleground with violence erupting amongst lawmakers. Let's look at the details of this unfolding crisis, examining the likelihood of impeachment, the number game in parliament and the recent unrest. The Maldives' main opposition, the Maldivian Democratic Party, in alliance with the Democrats, has officially decided to submit a motion in Parliament to impeach President Mohamed Moizu amidst a deepening diplomatic row with India. Violence overshadowed parliamentary proceedings as clashes between government and opposition MPs turned physical. Videos circulating on social media show MPs engaging in a brawl, highlighting the tense atmosphere within the legislative body. The ruling coalition, primarily composed of the Progressive Party of the Maldives and Muizu's People National Congress, has framed the opposition's moves, including the impeachment efforts and the refusal to approve government ministers as irresponsible and an impediment to the delivery of public services. President Muizu, whose coalition holds 19 seats, is at risk as the opposition commands a majority. With 43 seats held by the MDP and 13 by the Democrats, the opposition could potentially secure the two-third majority needed for impeachment in an 80-seat house. While his pro-China leanings are known to everyone, a Chinese spy vessel docking in Malay has put Muizu on the back foot where the government had to explain that this was for operational turnaround, a common jargon for picking up food and oil supplies and not for research purposes. Meanwhile, this is what the Indian Ministry of External Affairs had to say. We always keep a close eye on developments which impacts our interest, economic interest and security interest, and take necessary measures to uh, safeguard them as and when required. This political turmoil comes against the backdrop of an anti-India and a pro-China narrative promoted by the current regime suggests potential shifts in the country's foreign policy and development partnerships. Bureau Report, India Today.